You touched on obviously aspiring to get your music too big, you get a chance to meet Big, and you and him built a special relationship. Uh, talk to us about your relationship with Big. Like I tell some of the artists that I talk to today that ask me, you know, things about the game, being able to sit there with Big was priceless. You know what I mean? Being able to be in them studio sessions, being able to be on Life After Death, mm -hmm. which only has a few features, is priceless. Took care of the Junior Mafia, he took care of a lot of people. He was very funny dude. His work ethic was crazy. His energy was beautiful. He's just a good guy, like a good, you know, a good guy that, that, that really shook the game up while he was here and then after his untimely demise. Like, um, when that happened to him, that was our first time in L.A. So that was, we like, damn. That was your first time in LA? Yeah, that's our first time there. We in the party. We was actually young and we was a little mad that night. We came over to him on, you know, that last picture that you seen with the cane that had in, that, in the party in LA. He like, yo, y'all gotta shake that shit off. Whatever y'all, whatever y'all got with Puff, we'll handle it back home. Mm -hmm. Here go a zip. Gave us two Don P's. Say, yo, it's my single release, man. And shit, get your energy right. We we here, man. Let's have some fun. So we went over there, and then that was the last time we talked to him. So, you know, that was crazy. And then we just wanted to use turn, turn a negative to a positive and just represent his legacy forever. And that's what we still doing. What was it like? Obviously, I'm a West Coast guy, California guy, and you know, growing up in an era where there was so much back and forth between East and West, you become a bad boy label made with big. When that East and West Coast shit was going on, where was your head at? Was it really like the media tried to make it see? Was it really always this, this, this? Or would it, did the media make that more than what it was? I think it's a little bit of everything. <clears throat> I think, um, good thing social media wasn't here oh, yet or God. it would have been even oh, worse. Man. But I think I think the media definitely hyped it up. I think some of the higher powers that we don't even know about were involved with that. Um, I think that was just a, a sad, something sad that happened at the right time, which happened to be the wrong time. Right. It's big love pop. Mm -hmm. I, we used to ask him, he spoke, he worshiped there near the ground pot. He used to love pop. Pac used to give him jewels, and he would tell us stories for days about Pac. So I knew for a fact that he loved him, genuinely loved him. Right. So when all that stuff happened, it was a little bit crazy to us. And we was, we missed it, kind of. Like, you know, we came a little bit after that. Or we started blossoming after that, because, you know, Pac never, he didn't know about us like that and the um, outlaws and they never said anything about the locks right because we came after that but um just to be there and see that i think i might have been with big out of total video missing you remix the first time he heard hit him up though mm. when he got somebody pass it to him and put it in i think i was there when he first laid ears on that and, and he wasn't even really mad he was more mad at the stuff they were saying about C's and Kim, opposed to, to the to the song itself, it didn't it didn't ruffle his feathers. He was real, he was more upset about what they were saying about his little man and the Queen B. Mm. That's how that's how much he was for the.